How's it going guys, Mr. Game of Famer, and today we have the second episode of the New York Mets franchise here on MLB 17, the show, and this episode is opening day of 2017 season. We are kicking off the new season at home at City Field against the divisional rivals, Atlanta Braves. As you can see, beautiful, cloudy City Field will be where this match will be, hold, will be held against between these two teams. As you can see, last year's ranks for the New York Mets. NL, you know, ERA, saves, walks, you know, homes around. They were the top three in the league. As you can see, Noah Syndergaard and Julio Tehran will be the starting pitchers for two days game here on opening day. And by the way, if you have not seen the opening video, the, the episode one of of the New York Mets franchise. I highly recommend it. Just, you know, that's nice a little setup and a little overview on my direction and why I want to take this team to. So, let's get ready for first pitch. As you see, the New York Mets are going to come on to the field. As you can see, the starting the starting defense, the starting lineup for the uh, the Braves soon is he's starting comparisons. Tehran Syndergaard 6'6 compared to uh, Tehran 6'2. Syndergaard's a big dude. He's huge. Let's start the starting offense for the Atlanta Braves. In, in Ciarte, Phillips, Freeman, Kem, Marquez, Garcia, Flowers, Swanson, and Tehran. That's the starting lineup for the Atlanta Braves. You see Noah Syndergaard 14-9, 260 ERA. With a whip of 1.15, 218 strikeouts, and 43 walks. He's an absolute beast, and that is why he is number one in the rotation. You see the starting defense for the New York Mets. For uh, catching Darno, Duda, Walker, Cabrera, Reyes, Cespedes, Granderson, Bruce, and obviously Syndergaard pitching. And you see Ender, NCR, Enciarte is going to lead off the game. And you see it will be a 2-1 count in Ciarte. You see the first pitch thrown by me is a ball. A full count now. They are with the pitch, and as a sinker, 95 miles per hour for strike number one, first out of the new season. Now check out newly acquired Brandon Phillips, 291, 11 hits, 11 home runs. You can say uh, one two count for to Phillips, and as another strikeout, 96 miles per hour, the same pitch, and that is out number two. And now you check out. Freddie Freeman, 302 average, 34 home runs. He's an absolute beast. That was another full count. Two outs, another strikeout, a nasty slider. And Senator strikes out the ending 1 2 3 to start off the new season. As we're going to head to the bottom of the first, as the New York Mets are ready to hit. Terry Collins' lineup is out. And you see here Reyes, Cabrera, Cespedes, Bruce, Walker, Granderson, Duda, Darno, and Noah Syndergaard. Now check out Julio Tehran, 7-10, 321 at ERA, 167 strikeouts, 41 walks, and a whip of 1.05. Pretty good stats despite the win lo uh, the win loss record. Obviously, he's not playing in the on the gr with the greatest team. Now check out the defense: Flowers, Freeman, Phillips, Swanson, Garcia, Kemp. Gold Governor Inciarte and Nick Marquez in right field. And obviously Tehran pitching. Let's check out Jose Reyes going to lead off the game for the New York Mets. As he's going to be a slow dribbler to Tehran. He, he bobbles it and Reyes is safe. And that's an, that is an infield single. That's the first hit of the regular season and also of this franchise. Now Cabrera, Azuro Cabrera is up. But a nasty pick. And Reyes is caught trying to swipe second, but he was caught way too early. And as one out, now full count to Cabrera, and as strike three on a changeup, and now is the, now there is two gone. Now up is the power hitter Yoenes Cespedes, 283, one home runs. Obviously, he signed a a nice deal in the offseason. Now one one pitch to Cespedes, and he pops it up. Two fairly deep left center field, but Inciarte is there, and that is out number three. And now we're heading into the second inning with Kemp, Marquez, and Garcia coming up. As you can see, Matt Kemp, newly acquired Matt Kemp from the LA Dodgers, is going to be up to bat. Now it'll be two and two to Matt Kemp, 
and it's another strike of 98 miles per hour. And you see Kemp just swung way too early. As you can see now, Nick, now Mick, Nick Markakis is up through a 3 1 count, and that's the first walk and the first base runner for the Atlanta Braves as Markakis draws the walk on on that. On that, uh, bat, at, on that at bat. Now Donis Garcia is uh, going to be up for the one two count as that is going to be a pop fly right to the pitcher Syndergaard and that keeps Marquez at first and that is going to be out number two. Now check out Tyler Flowers the catcher 278 home runs 41 RBIs as you can see that will be a one two count. And as another strikeout, a sinker, 96 miles per hour. Syndergaard is wheeling and dealing. Another strikeout, and that is, is going to be the end of the uh, end of the uh, top of the second. Now Jay Bruce is going to be coming up. Hopefully he can try to rebound after a pretty poor and disappointing stint, uh, his first stint with the New York Mets after being acquired in the trade deadline last year. But that doesn't start off that well with the Tower Flowers with the pop out for out number one now Neil Walker the switch hitter his season last year was cut short due to injury hopefully he can come back healthy now for a full count with one out and that's going to be Walker to be a hit to left field as we track down by I forgot who it was that is absolutely poor by me at uh, Matt Kemp my bad that's terrible. Now we see uh, Chris Granderson going to be up, and that's a, that's a strikeout, and that's going to be the end of the second inning. As there's only one hit, and that was hit by Jose Reyes. Now 2 2 count, and another strikeout for Noah Syndergaard as he strikes out. I want to say that was Dansby Swanson. Now 1 2 count, that is now to the pitcher Julio Tehran, and that's a strikeout 99 miles per hour. Wow, absolutely crazy, absolutely filthy right there. Now two outs now, one one pitch. That is to Inciarte. Cespedes, can he track that down? He leaps and he robs the home run from Inciarte. Absolutely amazing play by Yoannes Cespedes. Leaps and robs it. He is worth that money. If he can play, he can you know make plays like that. Man, what an absolute beast! Wow, unbelievable. So now the bottom of the third, Lucas Dua is up and he and he uh, beats the shift and that's going to be a leadoff single for Lucas Duda. So this is definitely a make or break year. Who knows what uh, Lucas Duda's future is going to be. Now Travis Darno is going to be up 247 average last year and see Mr. Met trying to rally up the Met crowd. That's going to be one two count with no outs and it's going to be it's going to be a right to Swanson for the for the for the double play. That's going to be a nice play by the rookie. Now be that's going to be Noah Syndergaard, and he's going to strike out after a leadoff hit by Duda. We couldn't get anything out of that. Now Brandon Phillips for a one-two count. As you can see, another strikeout for Noah Syndergaard. And he cannot he cannot be stopped. One, two count for Matt Kemp. And so we have another strike on 99 miles per hour. As that's going to be the end of the fourth, uh, top of the fourth inning. And that's going to be the 2 2 count to Jose Reyes for a second at bat of the game. And he looks at a, sl a nice slider by Tehran for out number one of the inning. And that's going to be 2 2 count to Estrubal Cabrera. And he's going to swing very late now at 94 miles per hour. That was absolutely a terrible decision to swing at. Now another 2-2 count for Joanna Cespedes with two outs remaining. And another late swing, 93 miles per hour. That was above the strike zone. And that's going to be another 1-2-3 for Julio Toronto. That's going to be, one, two, three, four, be the end of the fourth ending. Now full count to Nick Marquez And Marquez swings through the devastating fastball. And it'll be 0-2 now to Adonis Garcia. And he's going to try to bloop it. But Granison is right there for out number two. And so there's, be, there's still a no-hitter alive for Noah Syndergaard. As you can see, strikes out. I want to say Brandon, uh, not Brandon, Tyler Flowers. Now after a 1-2-3 ending after the, the, the met at bat. And Ciarte tries to bloop another single to 
Cespedes, but Cespedes does track it down. Still a no hitter intact. Now Brandon Phillips, the 2 1 count. As you can see, there you see Granderson tracking it down at left center field. Granderson catches it, and that's going to be another 1 2 3 ending. Heading to the bottom of the sixth. Full count for Lucas Duda. Singling his last at bat, and he's going to pop it up to deep left center field. And is so close. If he, oh, that was absolutely devastating. Probably the win got it. So close for a home run for Lucas Duda. And you see there, a absolute poor throw. Travis Dar uh, Travis Darno, uh, not base hit. Uh, it was contact by Darno, but that's gonna be an error on Dansby Swanson. And those Syndergaard is gonna be up, and a nice drag bunt. And I don't know what Freeman was doing. And oh wow, that was absolutely scary. But it does advance Darno to second base, and that's gonna be that's gonna be two outs now. Now the two one count to Jose Reyes, and that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be opposite field base hit. As you can see, Bruce uh, Darno can he score? No, he can't. So close, an R almost an RBI double for for Jose Reyes, but Kemp just guns out Travis Darno. And it's still 0-0. Zero, zero. As you can see, Asrubo Cabrera hits a liner right straight uh, straight into Asrubo Cabrera. And look at that. He has to be removed. Chaz Rowe is going to be in relief for the three. He had a 364 ERA. That's going to be devastating because Teron was pitching a pretty good day. So, unfortunately for him, his day is cut short. His opening, his opening day will be cut short. As you can see, and Duane Cespedes does hit into a 6-4-3 double play. That's a huge out. That's a, that's a huge two outs for Chaz Rowe. And full count to Jay Bruce. And that's a late swing and a miss for Jay Bruce. And that's going to be the end of the seventh inning. It is still 0-0. Top of the eighth. And no center guard isn't done yet. 97 mile per hour fastball. Who knows how many. He has to we'll check the stat line at the end of the game. That 2 2 count to Tyler Flowers. And that's going to be another swing and a miss. And it's another strikeout for Noah Syndergaard. Now, 0 2 count to Dansby Swanson. Can he get out of another inning? And he's going to pop it up to Yoenna Cespedes. He catches it, and that's going to be the end of the top of the eighth. Another 1 2 3 inning. For Noah Syndergaard. Imagine if we score a couple of runs. That would be amazing. As another reliever, Sam Freeman was in, is going to be pitching for the Atlanta Braves. 12.91 ERA pro, and with our 7.7 two-thirds innings pitch. That's to do count to Neil Walker. A night, and a hit, it's going to be a hit to left field, but Kemp it tracks it down for out number one for the bottom of the eighth inning. Now one-two count for Curtis Granderson, and he looks at a 95 mile fastball around around the middle of the plate as we out number two. Now one two count to Lucas Duda on the play, and he is going to swing way late, 94 miles per hour, and that's gonna be another that's gonna be a one two three inning for the Atlanta Braves heading into the top of the ninth. It'll be a two one count to Kurt Suzuki, and he's gonna get a base hit. Kurt Suzuki. It's gonna be, I believe he replaced Tyler Flowers, and that's gonna be the first base hit for the Atlanta Braves today. As Emilio Bonifacio will be pinch running. As you can see, no, no singer is tired, but it seems like he isn't. Strikes out Ender and Ciarte for round number one, and it's gonna be a full count now with one out. As a, he's gonna strike out Brandon Phillips for out number two. Can he at least get out of this inning? Freddie Freeman, 3-1 count, and it's going to be another base hit. That's going to be hit number two for Atlanta as we run us in first and second with two outs. Syndergaard is not done yet. The 1-2 count, and Kemp swings out that absolutely terrible pitch. And that's, and Syndergaard is going to get out of the jam, and, he's gonna be, he's, and he is done after nine innings. And only got and only gave up two hits. Anthony Record, the former New York Met, will be the the uh, the third catcher. I guess they're hanging on to three catchers. Anthony Record will be the third catcher for the Atlanta Braves. As you can see, Travis Darno 
uh, takes a lead off, a lead off walk for the bottom of the ninth. Possibly a walk off. Who knows? So check out uh, Alex Liddy, who we did sign in last in last episode, as a nice little bench compliment. Now for the 2-2 count with no outs, it'll be a liner and a nice leaping grab for the out by Freddie Freeman. Who knows? Probably could have uh, drawn uh, Darno to third base. 3-0 count to Jose Reyes, and Reyes draws a walk. There's, now there's going to be runners on first and second with only one out. And up is going to be Absurdo Cabrera. 3-1 count with one out. What is he going to do? And he's going to line it. He's going to ground ball right to Swanson, and it's going to be another double plan. Absolutely wasted opportunity to get some runs. Absolutely disappointing. Now we're getting into some extra baseball, and you see Hansel Robles will be in relief after noticing a stellar day. I know he was not six and six and zero. Oh. He was not six and zero. Oh. He was like six and three in real life. I don't know why that was six and zero oh right there. So first at bat faced is as we a hit by I've I'm not sure who it was. It's and oh, it was Nick Markakis. That's gonna be a lead off hit for Markakis. That's gonna be Adonis Garcia. Full count now, and he's gonna try and possibly a double play. Six, four, almost a double play. Uh, Garcia was called safe at first base. Now Jace Peterson is gonna be in two pinch hit for the pitcher Sam Freeman. Now two two count with one out. Robles with the pitch as we as we grounded right to Robles, and he gets only one out. I I didn't know it was a, uh, there was there was only one out. I thought there was two outs, so that was my bad. But it doesn't matter. Swanson swings out an absolutely terrible pitch in the dirt, and the Mets get out of the inning with no runs, but they did give up one hit. So Eric O'Flaherty, the former New York Met, once again uh, is going to be in full relief for the Atlanta Braves. 6.91 ERA with 28.2 innings pitch. Zero count to Joanna Cespedes to lead off the bottom of the 10th. And he's going to swing. Probably should have taken it. Fielded, fielded by uh, Garcia for out number one. So Garcia, uh, so Cespedes, despite that amazing robbing catch for the home run, so far didn't really do anything today. But Jay Bruce does draw a walk with four straight balls. And you see, the fastest player we had on the bench is Ty Kelly. Yes, we need, about, we need to get some more speed. So Ty Kelly is going to be the pinch runner. So the 1-2 uh, count to Neil Walker. And he looks at a very, very controversial strike three call. Very, very unsure about that call. That's to do count to Chris Granson and swings out a high slider. And that is going to be out number three. Now Ty Kelly is going to be coming in and he's going to be playing right field replacing Jay Bruce. Now, Hans Robles is still in the game. Full count on the top of the 11th. And he gets Anthony Wrecker swinging for out number one. So the pitchers have done an absolutely phenomenal job. So 3-1 count to Inciarte. Pops it up to center field. But Granison does track it. And that's going to be out number two for the, Atlanta, for the New York Mets. 1-2 count to Brandon Phillips. And he's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna drop. Yes, it's gonna get, it's gonna drop in front of you want to, uh, you want to assess best and as we, as we a single, but three two count, and Freeman swings at a nice pitch, and that's gonna be out number three, heading to the bottom of the eleventh. More baseball, full count now to Lucas Duda, and and he looks at a nasty slider pitch by O'Flattery, and that should be out number one. Another full count to Travis Darno, and he's gonna ground it up the middle. Swanson with a nice range, and he gets Darno out for out number two. Now, uh, Arodis Viscaino will be in two pitch, one and oh. 10 saves last year, 4.4. You see there, he just drops his miss, so he's, he's prepared. So, pitch hitting will be Wilmer Flores as he will be, as he will be pitching. So, Robles' is day will be done so now it doesn't doesn't get any better Flores swings and he misses for out number three as 
Fernando Salas will be in relief for the New York Mets. 3.91 ERA, 72.2 innings pitched. 1 2 count from the top of the 12th to Adam Kemp and is absolutely driven to right field, but it is foul ball. So 1 2 pitch to Kemp and it is going to be a nice play by Jose Reyes and he gets Kemp out from the nice play for out number one. Now full count to Nick Markakis and that's going to be a ball, a low fast ball right below the knees. Now three, now full count to Adonis Garcia as as we hit in the gap for a base hit as we extra bases. As this, is, this is not good. Markakis is coming around third heading home and he is safe for the first score of the game. Adonis Garcia with the with the um, RBI double as the pinch hitter will be Chase Darno, the brother of Travis Darno. As the 0-2 count to, to Chase and as a base hit. It is not good. And as you can see, Garcia is gonna, gonna go the third. He's gonna head home and he is safe. An absolutely weak throw by, by Ty Kelly. And now it's two to nothing, a pinch hit RBI single for Chase Darno. So a one, two count, and this, oh, yeah, that is gone. Four to nothing, that is a two run home run by the rookie Dan's B. Swanson, the former number one overall pick back in 2015. An absolute shot to right center field and extends the lead to four to nothing. Two run homer, 397 feet. That ball went. So 1-1 one, one count. Salas is still in the game. As Reyes, can he get out? Get him out? Yes, he can. He gets out Anthony Wrecker for out number two. Nice play by Reyes on that play. Now full count to Enciarte. Enciarte has not had a good game. But it gets past Darno. And Enciarte is safe. So there is another base runner. 1 2 count to Brandon Phillips. And Phillips looks at the changeup. And that is strike three calls. But Fernando Salas gives up four earned runs. And this could be the end of the regular season. So now Ian Cole will be in. The reason I slowed that up, slow that up because I actually skipped past it because I was pre mad. Because I was like, geez. Just blew an absolute uh, gem of a game by Syndergaard. And we couldn't get any offense. You see there a nice play by Brandon Phillips. He still has it for who knows how old he is in his, in his 30s. For out number one, two one pitch uh, hits opposite field for Sue Cabrera and a nice track by Nick Marcakis. And the Mets are down to the last out. You know, suspect can he do anything? No, he swings way too early on that change, uh, that curveball. And that is the end of the game, end of opening day. Four to nothing. The Atlanta Braves take game one out of 162. As you can see, the Braves are celebrating and the Mets are going home. Losers. Absolutely terrible. As there was really no offense. Absolutely disappointing. Because we just wasted an absolute gem of a game pitch by No Senegar. This guy, you know, does pick up the win as obviously Fernando Salas picks up the loss. Obviously, check out the stats and the scoreline. And yeah, really, it was just absolutely disappointing game, as you can see. Tehran had a good game, you know. Good job for the Braves, you know, but the Mets did choke. Player of the game, hands down, has got to go with No Syndergaard. He had 19 strikeouts. 19 strikeouts in nine innings pitched. He had two walks, two hits. Absolutely gem of a game, but absolutely incredible. But unfortunately, we couldn't support him. So some more roster news. We did we did send down T J Rivera, as you can see. We, I did sim May, and here's why. I'm used to simming May because it's, aka also because it's a long season. First off, we are 22 and 12, so good start. We are 22 and 12. Okay, so the reason I sim to May because I'm used to in my personal season. I usually I usually uh, sim quite a bit because it's a long season. And I'll play all these games so they warm me out. But because it's more of a YouTube series, I don't want it like be really short. Next episode will be a doubleheader. I'll play two games in May. I'll even play another one in May for episode number th four. So, because because I sent way too early in the um in the in the, in the series, I'll play 
next episode will contain two games. So stay tuned, guys, for episode number three. So thank you guys for watching. Comment, write, and subscribe for more content on this channel. Follow me on Twitter at Mr. Game of Fame. Link in the description. And I'll see you guys next time.